I'm John Cohen, and this is my tech. This is the Air Neo from Air Selfie, and it is a drone that uses AI technology to go ahead and be your selfie drone. In fact, right here in the front, it has a camera, and in the back, you have a power on, power off button, plus a USB-C port. The way it works is pretty intuitive. It can either be with Wi-Fi, so through your phone, or independent using the artificial intelligence. So it can actually figure out where you are in the scene. And of course, if you're in a big crowded place, it may not be the best choice. So we'll go ahead and take a quick peek. We're gonna click the button twice in the back. Hold on hand out. And now it should fly automatically. Just like that, it's flying. And then all I have to do is go ahead and put my arm up, and it should come back to me. Let's see how it goes. There we go. Here it comes. And just like that, lands in my hands. Air Neo has four distinctive modes that it can go on for AI driven photos and videos. There is the photo, there's the wide angle photo, there's a 360 camera, and then there's a 15 second video clip. Let's take a look at the wide camera. So, there I am. Me. And it's in our video, and hopefully it's taking a picture. Hello! I'm going to put my arm back, and I think it'll come back to me. Whoa, what's it going to do? Very close. But, obviously not foolproof, to say the least. Part of the reason why it doesn't always work is that you do need to calibrate it from time to time. And you know, this is one of those times. Of course, you can always control it with the phone app that will allow you to talk to it directly. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and let it run automatically. So let's go ahead and go in the camera mode and let's say, let's fly. And just like that, we're doing a video of it flying. And I can control just by putting my hand left and right where I want it to go. So I can control the video, I can control all the stuff that's going on very easily. So, let me tell you, the fact that it's auto-sensing and able to do AI-driven work is just so much of a pleasure. Of course, you can go on to manual mode and still control it like other drones, but the fact that it does AI is just super helpful. I really love that. So some of the basic specs for this is that it's going to be a 12 megapixel camera, similar to most iPhones. As well, it's going to give you about six minutes of flying time. Again, it's not meant as a drone that's going to go very far. It's meant to be AI driven, so you're using it as your selfie drone. And because of that, you've got a 16 gigabyte micro SD card that comes with it. Of course, you can put a bigger one in it too. But for most people, 16 gigabytes is going to be probably the right fix. And of course, in this case, it is less than the two ounce mark, so therefore you do not need a permit to fly it. 60 feet, it can go up in the sky, and of course it can be used indoors or outdoors. Of course, if it's a really windy day, you may want to reconsider using it outdoors, as it is pretty lightweight. I will put more information about the Air Neo from Air Selfie into the description below. I think you're going to want to check it out. I think it's a really, really fun product. And just getting used to using a drone again is so much fun. I encourage everyone to give it a shot. This is John. Here's a couple other videos that you might like and feel free to subscribe.